Look at this sweet, beautiful face. She is one of 105 dogs recently rescued from a hoarding case in Bradford. And the laws passed today will aim to protect animals like her. With that, animal cruelty laws are stronger in New Hampshire. Two bills signed today at the Humane Society for Greater Nashua will protect animals and create harsher penalties for people who harm them. This is such a monumental moment for animals in the Granite State. High profile cases in recent years brought the issue to the forefront, like these Great Danes removed from a Wolfboro home two years ago. Courts will soon be required to hold hearings two weeks after animals are seized, significantly reducing the time animals have to wait for loving homes while cruelty cases are completed. Now under this law, judges will be able to determine whether or not somebody is allowed to live with or work around animals, especially if they've been convicted of purposeful cruelty. It also gives law enforcement the tools to crack down on animal fighting by outlawing training devices and gear that's used for fighting. One bill reduces the cost for organizations caring for animals in pending cases. Individuals who are in a hoarding situation will be held responsible for the cost of the care of their animals while they're being held. Advocates say it will deter problem breeders from coming to New Hampshire, a state once targeted because of weaker laws. We've been very proactive in the state, even on a national level, in terms of making some huge strides forward when it comes to just understanding what animal cruelty is, how it affects us. The laws go into effect in January. Meanwhile, this little bundle of joy will be ready for adoption sometime in September. In Nashua, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.